Midweek action for Blackburn Rovers as they head to Bloomfield Road on the back of three successive victories. Can they make it four? We'll talk about the match and more on today's show. That's right folks, back once again with another match preview. Now if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Now we're coming to an end of a four game stretch. Currently on the back of three wins and hopefully we can make it four when we take on Gary Bowyer's Blackpool. So let's take a closer look at the match itself. We're going to this game against Blackpool at Bloomfield Road Tuesday 28th of November. Last time out, Blackpool finished seventh in League Two when they ended up uh, sneaking through the back door of the playoffs into Division or League One. The current top scorer is Kyle Vassell with seven goals and the man pulling the strings is old gaffer Gary Bowyer. Now we're coming to this game. This will be probably the 59th uh, match between the two sides and it looks like it's all square. That's according to some uh, website out there. 21 wins, 21 losses and 16 draws between both sides. So Blackburn and Blackpool trying to get the edge uh, over each other in this North West derby. So let's take a closer look at the past five fixtures at Bloomfield Road. Last time out, Blackburn were winners back in August 2014 when Blackburn won 2-1 in the league championship. Before that, it was a 2-2 draw. Uh, to the clock by the third time there, it was a loss for Blackburn, 2-0 in the Championship. The fourth score there, for four from the bottom. Uh, it was a 2-1 win for Blackpool, that was back in the Premier Premier League days. And then right to the top, the first top, the first score on the top of the, the chart there, Blackpool, 2-1 winners all the way back in 1979. So, so it's a little bit of a mix batch of results there, so hopefully Blackburn Rovers can take advantage maybe score a cheeky victory and that will be a nice tonic to end the month of November. Let's take a closer look at the starting lineups. This is how I think Blackpool will line up. Also up in goal, Mella, Tilt, Ameson, Turton, Solomon Otobo, Longstaff, Old Blackburn fella, Spearing, Ryan, Daniel and Vassell. And you may even get a cameo from another ex-rover, Nathan Delfonso. So let's take a closer look at the stats right now. This is the top scoring shots for Blackpool. For sale, tops the charts with eight goals. Longstaff in there with five. Phyllis Kirk in there with four. And Daniel's got two. As for the discipline, uh, Daniel got five yellows. Tilt's got five. Ryan's got three. And Diameda has got two yellows. No red cards so far for Gary Bowyer's boys. Into the form book. Blackpool coming to the back of this off a nil-nil draw against Fleetwood Town. In fact... Uh, that's a, the second successive draw. That's before that, Blackpool were held 1-1 against Gillingham at Bloomfield Road. Turn the clock back a little bit further, back to 18th of November. Blackpool scoring a nice victory away from home against Peterborough. Turn the clock back further to the 11th of November. Blackpool suffered a 3-2 away, 3-2 uh, home defeat, sorry, against Portsmouth. And then right at the bottom of there, a little bit of a, a little bit of a dodgy stain on Gary Bowyer's resume for the season, losing to non-league Borehamwood in the FA Cup away from home. As for Rovers, this is how I feel they'll line up. Uh, he did tinker a little bit, didn't uh, Tony Mowbray in the last match, and I feel he might revert back to a little bit of a familiar formation. David Ryer in goal, Naimbi, Downing, Mulgrew. Derek Williams. I feel Elliot Bennett will be back in the starting lineup. Smallwood, Whittingham, and Bradley Dack up front. I think Dominic Samuel and Danny Graham will get the nod after their successful substitution appearance on the weekend, which created uh, the penalty incident and then also the goal itself. So key players, uh, and also is rotating the squad to give the likes of Antonson and uh, Joe Nuttall a bit of a breather. Corey Evans also taking a rest. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a good squad and it's, it's a bit of a more attacking lineup and hopefully we can get away with three points. Let's take a look at the top scoring charts. Marcus Anderson still tops the charts with seven goals. Charlie Mulgrew sneaks up to second or joint second with six. Dominic Samuels also up there. He moved up a notch to and he's got six for the season and Bradley Dax there with five. Into the discipline. Elliot Bennett with five yellows. Corey Evans five. Smallwood five. And Dominic uh, Derek Williams there with three. Into the red. Still the three red cards. Elliot Bennett, Samuel and Scott Wharton. As for the form book for Blackburn Rovers. It's looking pretty rosy at the moment, as we said, those three successive wins. Before that, is a bit of a bit of a smudge on uh, Mowbray's uh, resume. Also, with a one-one draw away from uh, home against Rochdale, when they, you know, realistically we we did lose that game on penalties. Before that, it was a three-one victory at, at, at home against Barnet. 
And the FA Cup is the next fixture for us after the Blackpool game when we take on Crew. There will be no preview or review for those games because I'm taking a bit of a breather. It's been pretty crazy uh, thus far. So that just brings you up to speed with uh, the form books and my little opinion of the game. What do the other fans think? Let's take a look at social media and see what's been going on out there. Darren Carl Roberts said this on the Rovers Facebook page. Glad Blackpool haven't had this takeover before we played them. Would have galvanized them as it stands. A good chance to make it eight unbeaten. Good point there, Darren. I didn't have the full list of results, but yeah, it is probably eight unbeaten, including uh, League and Cup games. Uh, and also if you include that Rochdale result, despite us actually technically losing, it's, it's still a draw in my eyes. Uh, so yeah, it'd be great to go eight and beat and a good morale boost for the lads moving into the FA Cup. Chris Walsh also on the Rovers Facebook said, Big game on Tuesday. Start to look very good for us now. Let's go and smash Blackpool midweek and move five points off the top. Up the football league we go, he says. Thomas Evans on the One Jack Walker website or Facebook page said, Rovers sell out, allocation up for Blackpool. No more tickets being given to Rovers for the match. He actually shows, sends, sends us a link to the Lancashire Telegraph article about the actual sellout. So if you haven't got your ticket already, unfortunately it doesn't look like you're going to be able to get in unless you find another way around. Terrence Jeffries on the League One banter group says, what the heck is a shrew and what the heck is a tick? Up the rovers, up the table, and as for you, Blackpool, you scruffy tramps, you'd all be better on time for your community service Tuesday morning. Obviously, I did ad lib a little bit of that and uh, swapped some words, but uh, you get the gist. And then Emily Hibbert says, what's your prediction for Tuesday match against Blackpool? And we've got a whole host of predictions in there. I'll pick out some, I'll cherry pick out some beauties hut. Harvey Berry says a uh, 3-0 away win for Rovers. Karim Karbara reckons it'll be a 2-2 draw. Brad Williams reckons 3-1 for Rovers. Matt Longstaff thinks it's going to be a 1-0 result for Blackpool. So he's not thinking uh, that we'll continue the run. And Daniel Son Mitchell says a 3-0 away win for Rovers. So um, take that as you think. A lot of uh, Rovers fans going into this with a bit of momentum and a bit of optimism. Hopefully that is the case. We could do with a little bit of luck and a bit of fortune going into the end of the month, into December. Uh, and it's technically, you can consider this a little bit of a mini break when we take on crew in the next round of the FA Cup. Gives, takes, us, takes us one eye off the league, but uh, you know, gives a chance to rest some players uh, against crew. Over the years, a number of players have played for Blackburn Rovers and Blackpool. Here are just a few. It's actually going to be a striker's edition. Three former strikers that played for Blackpool and Blackburn Rovers. And there's the first one, DJ Campbell. I think he was more prolific for Blackpool, but he also represented Blackburn Rovers in his time. How about this fella? Premier League winning Mike Newell. Again, he had more, I think, had more successful time for Blackburn Rovers than he did at Blackpool. Don't hold me on that one, but I believe so. Obviously, well, Blackpool, he didn't get a Premier League winner's medal for Blackpool. He did for Blackburn Rovers. But here he is also in a Blackpool jersey. And finally, this little scruffy terrier, Paul Dickoff. Uh, he was with us in the Premier League and he also played for Blackpool. He was a nightmare in the box, nightmare for defenders. And... Uh, yeah, he was a big old handful as a, as a striker. He might not have been the most prolific, but he was a nightmare for defenders. I said nightmare a few times. That was just a sneak peek of a whole bunch of players who have actually played for Blackpool and Blackburn Rovers. I am bringing a few more back for the return leg at Ewood Park later on in the season. But if you want to check out the full list, head over to my WordPress site. It's all there in black and white. Well, it's not what I think is going to happen in the match. It's not what you think is going to happen in the match. It's what Cass the Cat thinks is going to happen in the match. Let's take a look what she thinks will happen between Blackpool and Blackburn Rovers. you today folks but before i go make sure you head over to my youtube channel and smash that subscribe button keep you bang up to date for all things blackburn rovers i'm also on facebook twitter soundcloud and itunes if you want to check me out on the go i also want to give a shout out to the guys at the brfcs forum if you haven't checked that out details are also in my description below 
It gives you a great opportunity to chat with other Rovers fans from around the world about matches coming up and matches from yesteryear. Also transfers and all that kind of good stuff. It's all there in all its glory. And that is your lot. Hoping we can end the month of November with another three points so we can go into the FA Cup full of confidence and maybe we can rotate the squad a bit and then uh, freshen up some legs for the month of December when the games really do come thick and fast. Anyway, I'm going to go very dizzy. Till next time, ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll get you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.